Swift must always know the type of each of your variables, but sometimes you know more information than Swift does. For example, here are three classes, class animal, class fish inherits from animal, then class dog inherits from animal, and class dog has a method, make noise, which prints woof. Now we can create a couple of fish and a couple of dogs and put them into an array like this. Let pets equals fish, dog, fish, dog. Swift can see both fish and dog inherit from the animal class, so it uses type inference to make pets an array of animal. If we want to loop over the pets array and ask all the dogs to bark, we need to perform a type cast. Swift will check to see whether each pet is a dog object, and if it is, we can then call make noise. This uses a new keyword called as question mark, which returns an optional. It'll be nil if the type cast failed or a converted type otherwise. Here's how we write the loop in Swift. For pet in pets, if let dog equals pet as question mark dog, dog.make noise. 